Um, my father and friends that are that close know me as Lewis, um, but I also, as an artist and a creator, uh, go by GMK. Um, I've had lots of aliases that gave me power. Uh, so Golden Mike King or, you know, the prize MC. Um, just brilliant was used in, in performance form because I thought that was just dope. Um, but yeah, in, in terms of my, my, my reason for being, uh, it's, it's to produce, you know, and I think it's to produce um, things that have, you know, taste, quality, and, uh, uh, and pre something preserved in it, you know what I mean? That, mm -hmm. that, like I said, the biggest thing is to inspire somebody um, to create themselves. Um, and like I said, I think as a producer, you know, I always say my goal was to uh, um, to to bring something out, and whatever that is, I'm never really sure at the time. But you know, my goals are the same. You know, like produce something that brings something out mm. of something or someone. But you know, right. when we use that phrase, you know, so bring something out, you know, yeah. you know, you, you want to also think about what that would mean, you know, in terms of like, you know, highlighting, and, you know what I'm saying, spotlighting certain things. Um, but yeah, no, GMK, the producer, um, artist, whatever. <laughs> um, shit, you know, late night guy when I want to want to just twiddle my thumbs, but, uh, you know, other than that, man, I just, I'm a lover, a lover of life. All right. They got a lot of shit for sale. They don't have that. <laughs> they don't have agents for sale. They don't have hikers in? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Height deals. <laughs> they got hey, man. But, you know, you start to think, <coughs> think about it. I'm like, I got them butt implants and some other stuff. I mean, they might have shit implants. If you got the money, that's what I think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think money is opens a whole new world for people, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and that's, that can be good or bad, like, I, you know, I think about that sometimes, like, if you get a million dollars, is that going to be a good thing for you or a bad thing for you, only because you don't, how, how do you dictate it when you never had a million, I mean, it's all this, yeah. what were you expecting exactly, so then if you get presented <laughs> with the meal, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta see what your life is post a million, I mean, and like you said, you might have a huge chunk of change, and find that the, man it. the management is not right. I think that's my biggest thing. I'd be trying to be on as of life late, man. Is management. That's you got to be a really good manager yourself, man. I'm telling you, because <sighs> your life is the first business you ever owned. Yes, and you don't even really own it, but that's another statement. I just, that's a whole different. But bottom line. <laughs> Your first investment is self. It's, yeah. It started when you came here crying, trying to figure out why you was here exactly. <laughs> and you still be crying. <laughs> <laughs> Intermittently, you be like, ooh, I'm just crying because you're still trying to figure it out. Somebody people do that, man. Yeah, no. It ain't no funny to me when people like try to figure themselves out. Or people think that they got themselves yeah, figured no, out. Yeah, I had a person say that. Like, I, they knew, and I chuckled a little bit. I mean, like, you yourself figure out, bro. Why would you say that to somebody I in real sure life? Bro. You ain't got to figure it yeah, out. Yeah, it, it hit a point to me where I'm like, yo, that's that's going to take you longer. That yeah. attitude. That, that vibe that you're putting out called, I get it, I know it. <laughs> it's going to be a problem at some point. <laughs> so you know whatever like it's really also I can be in, in restoration mode to refresh those that are around me like I really believe in that I take it so seriously that someone feels it's always been a, 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 a one-off scenario that means if only one person has told me that I motivated them I inspired them that was always enough because mm -hmm. I don't know other people doing that it doesn't matter though I'm being addressed as a person that can can offer that to people right but what I know is I can not offer that if I'm not good so mm -hmm. it was always like I always put out as much energy as I can and anytime I know I need to pull back for me first but it's also because I have a gift to say the more energy I have that's been you know given to me through charging you know what I'm saying or mm -hmm. plugging in my phone you know what I'm saying <laughs> recharging it's right. like it's like now I can communicate better to you the person that again I may inspire today through conversation through whatever through music through you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so like it, it's just a it's a big deal to like to me to be a person that actually like 
um, like I said, hearing, you know, I've heard people say, yo, like reference something that seems so old to me, like in time wise, I'm like, really? Like someone uh, is saying, man, that old songs for bloggers. I don't know if you had a chance to ever hear that project I did. And it was, was it was earlier. Very early, yeah, 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 yeah. So he was like, like that was still to this day something that made me feel motivated to create things and just thought mm -hmm. about the level in which you made that. You know, like I, I, I was still, just like interesting. I'm like That's why I asked you about the, the link for Jade. I was like, it's like, oh yeah. That like, shit was oh, so wait, dope you know, to me. Like Cause I didn't even I didn't even know Jessica then when I saw the video. <coughs> but I just saw oh, the yeah. video. Cause I didn't I didn't know her. I met her later. Uh Kellen introduced me to her. Funny. And I was like, oh you're the <coughs> from Jade. That's that was the first shit that I said to her. I was like, oh you're the chick from Jade. But um but like that shit to me was dope. Yeah. Because of the way that it was done. You know what I mean? Um, and like, it went, was that yesterday you sent me the link to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I watched it and I was like, but that shit's still filthy. It's cool. Like, I still, it is one of the inspiring things to me because I know you personally. Yeah, totally. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that person created this. Totally. This yeah. is dope shit. You yeah. know, like, how do I go about creating something like this? Or not just like yeah, this, yeah. but how do I go about creating my own? To yeah, give somebody yeah, else yeah, that yeah, feeling yeah. of wanting to create and inspire them. No, exactly. And that's what I mean. I think, I don't know, it's dope. And I mean, I think everybody probably feels their sense of um, star in them with that, you know. So at some point, you know, say you tie a mean shoe for somebody and they mm -hmm. didn't know how to tie it that fresh, right? But it's like, you know, and they're <laughs> like, wow, I gotta start trying to tie my shit for the, you know, or whatever. Yeah. But I think we all have that sort of gift, you know, but I think, it, like I said, there's just some people that get dropped down here to like really push it in like and like I said it's it's infectious you know it's very inspiration is one of the most infectious things you could ever feel mm -hmm. to so be inspired you what feel um I mean? I, I, I've always wanted to ask you this bro because you're, you're a yeah. really deep thinker really critical critical thinker what inspires you not just musically yeah, yeah, yeah. not just artistically but what just what inspires you um I think I narrowed it down. No, uh, honestly, uh, <laughs> no, I'm saying you, you start like maturing the thought, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, for me, it, it's always been, I think, um, like some sort of so some key things. Love has always been big, you know, mm -hmm. period. You know, sort of like where does it come from? And, and so this sort of thing, mm -hmm. like just it's just so mega of a thought to me in itself. So I'm right. like, that's just inspiring. Like you came from love. You face this sort of lifetime of finding it. Where oh, you know what I'm saying? Where do I go? Is it at the club? No, not so much. Uh, <laughs> should I pick up a new hobby? You feel me? Like whatever. Um, should I try this internet thing out? Because it's pretty real. At least everybody <laughs> feels that way. Right. Um, so love's big. Uh, knowledge. Knowledge is big. So like that's a big thing for me. Mm. You know, and it really information because like, the power of it. So it's like. I'm constantly talking to people in some regard or watching because it's like there's power in this information I know and like I said from a creative standpoint when I go musical right I'm, I took it I just took the information I got whatever it was I'm like I said I'm I am a supercomputer like I said I'm my math isn't always right so this is the part where we're human right but like we are the concept of where computers came from, how we function is through, like I said, what we watch, what we see, what we caught, some things that just keep repeating, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. it's like, it's gonna keep happening again, huh? You know what I'm saying, until I get it, but, so no, I think knowledge, love, and, and like I said, just the inevitable factor that is sort of growing, you know, or sort of this constant visiting of like, you know, are you doing, you know, are you watering, you know, your, your plants, are you getting the right amount of sun, are you, you know what I'm saying, that sort of self-care thing. But like I said, it's just always been really basic, sort of simplistic truths about what it's inspired me. Some things have always been, you know, could be random. Right. But I like the idea that, like I said, if if I'm around a group of people that I can see, see a genuine love in, you know, the, mm -hmm. what's happening, like I said, like if you come to the parties or something and you, you felt that vibe or that energy, that like you said, that synergy, that, that good stuff was coming from a group of people that cooperated, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like... It's love, right? That's that's why you know it's not so much weakness or lame stuff going on at the parties because it's like there's enough cooperation and love in the room. You feel me? That mm -hmm. everybody can kind of feel that. So like I said, that's always inspired me. Um, and, uh, and, and and like I said, I think just that that knowledge factor. Like I said, like the more I get from yesterday, I can apply 
for today. Mm. And like I said, it, it makes me feel like I'm a powerful creator or a powerful maker at that point because I have more than I than I had before. Like I'm constantly again sort of inspired by that. Like oh shoot, like I didn't know that. Right. Like, genuinely, like it don't, it don't matter what it is. I'm like well, I did not know that, and that's just the, <laughs> right. the craziest thing to me. Like yeah. how do you just not know something, but you. Your right. timeline, you're still going, you right, know, in terms right. of your timeline. So that's what, what's always been interesting. It's like, damn, like, you could really be a doorknob and be straight up 40 years old. Like, yeah. just really not nothing about nothing. Knowing nothing, mm -hmm. not really, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't really that useful because you, you know, you say, <laughs> never really obtained or retained or something, you know, right. uh, knowledge. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, that, uh, like I said, I think I've always inspired me because I get to watch me a little bit through uh, making stuff. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, when people are telling me things about shit I did, I did it. Mm -hmm. So like I was the first one to put that together <laughs> or I was in the room making say anything, right? Like, yeah. I remember constantly watching that film and just being like, I like the shit out of this movie and I don't know why mm -hmm. at all. And so there, but there's, well, I did not like it. I really relate to this white actor yeah. that's been you know in a few movies I'm known when mm -hmm. you spot him but I was like yeah, yeah I just gel with this guy as a, as a person if I were to depict you know ex he's existed mm -hmm. you know we would have similarities or things that like I said yeah I can yeah to you know like yeah that's uh, powerful so it was that and then just uh, a, a creator's mind and I went you know what would be crazy you know I did that you know the toilet bowl you know mm -hmm. sit where you're like what if I, you know, and when those things happen, aka the idea or the, now it's just all about my commitment level. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just like, I'm about to just flip, you know, yeah. the various samples from the actual soundtrack and turn them into beats dope, right? and rap on them as this guy. <laughs> and That's dope. I can put that out. I can, and I can, I and I can, can you know, but I can do that. Yeah. You know, like I said, and so I vamp everything though because I don't, it's like, I'm that into it once I'm into it. It's, a, it's impossible, like a personal integrity is personal integrity. It's it's within the person themselves to say that, and so, like I said, if I'm a maker of this, I have an integrity at stake because I know either how I wanted it to be, how I wanted it to uh, feel, and then what I wanted to do for you know other people. So like, mm -hmm. like you said, when you work with other people, it's uh, the biggest challenge is, like I said, we, yeah, I mean, we can, I kind of said make something and kind of come together but like how do you find this middle ground to still feel like you you have uh, your personal integrity still being maintained because like i said another person is not i mean i can't yeah i just don't have that expectation you know i, I shouldn't have that expectation like another person gonna come into a room and want the same uh you know it's just the same like yeah, when this comes out, it's gonna be like, you know, because that's something <laughs> I searched for within myself. Like, right. I decided that I wanted to be like this. That was when I made the decision. So, I mean, everything else is gonna be secondary. At some point, you're gonna, you're gonna say, yeah, you can add this and do that and do that. But now, what about my integrity that I, you know, started out <laughs> with? It's not that anymore because it's a whole other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We made something else. Now that's the, the, but that's the trick. Like you got to figure out how you can make something that, like, is sort of this detachment theory. But like you mm -hmm. have to figure out how to create with others in a way in which, um, it, it stands on its own sort of right, uh, integrity right. legs. Like if there was such a thing, you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah, we, you know, I I did this and I did this, but you know this is the product of that and right. so that's more what we're saying it, it's it stepped out of us being completely you know obsessed with like i said how how uh how how something's perceived or mm -hmm. or an intook or uh, what went on while you know while doing something because that's the other thing you know it's all about what was happening while you were doing something like right. i said you know it's depending important. on that it's important. depending on that experience you know that may change uh, again, ultimately, what, some, what something becomes, and also it's life to you. You feel me? So, like, if clearly you had a bad experience with you know a person that you was with, like that experience wasn't good. You didn't like the outcome of that. You found that it doesn't match. You know, say your yeah. your person. So you know you gotta just just you know 
distance yourself or like I said part part your, part ways with it because respectfully like, yeah yeah totally yeah but like I said you know it 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 really has so much to do with that 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 part of the the making part of the the meeting and the you know it you know all of that you know so it's, do me a favor man I'm gonna stop this. I need you.